And in the age of modern love, dating apps have become the standard. But here's a question. Are they addictive? That's what a new lawsuit claims. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett breaks down the accusations and shares reaction from a local expert. Swipe right, swipe left. Again and again and again. Hundreds of potential love matches in the palm of your hand. Or at least that's what dating apps want you to think, according to a new lawsuit filed in federal court on Valentine's Day. The class action lawsuit alleges that popular dating apps, Tinder, Hinge, and The League, all under parent company Match Group, are designed to be addictive, claiming they're advertised, quote, as effective tools for establishing off-app relationships while secretly doing everything in its power to capture and sustain paying subscribers and keep them on app. Is there proof that social media apps and dating apps are addictive? I think whenever we talk about addiction, it's a real fraught term and we see a lot of disagreement about it. Dr. James Ivory is a professor of media studies at Virginia Tech. He says it's hard to prove at what point social media or dating apps go from entertaining to addicting. A lot of social media apps are designed to get people to use them more, to get people to try to stay on them, to reward them for staying on them, whether that's psychologically or in a more tangible way. Uh, it's a little more difficult to say whether that constitutes uh, fomenting a behavioral addiction. Match responding, calling the lawsuit, quote, ridiculous, adding, our business model is not based on advertising or engagement metrics. We actively strive to get people on dates every day and off our apps. As long as there are applications trying to make money with advertising, they're going to be trying to get you to spend time with them. I think this is something that's here to stay. It may or may not be a big problem, depending on who you ask, but it's something we're going to have to learn to live with and learn to uh, have healthy lives around. Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.